all right so to start with i already have a laravel default installation with npm installed although we will be initially doing most of our work in vue.js but you know uh, later on because we are going to use a lot of apis i am going to stick with laravel this is the latest version so what i have done is just the typical create project composer and new uh, laravel project and i think i am on php artisan version um, no there was one command which used to give us the current uh, version um, list help displays help commands dash v php artisan dash v yes so i'm on 5.6.3 <coughs> which is on the date of the report recording the latest version okay 5.6 has just released a couple of days back i think and so yeah um i have my vendor folder i have my node modules folder and now we will start here inside my js i'll i have components why don't we create a new folder we will call it um to keep it simple we'll call it youtube because we are going to deal with the youtube videos okay so it's my new directory name and in there let us create a few um view components which we need to you know uh, use the first one will be youtube dash dot view okay then we will have one which is you video group dot view okay um one will be video dot view the individual view uh, sorry let's call it video details video detail okay so we we have video group video detail uh, dash and then let us have one as search dot view oh no we will call it finder because um, um i'm going to create a class which is a js file where we will have uh, the primary logic to um search through youtube api and so we will add that js file as well which is search.js okay um so the dashboard component is the first component which will be you know I mean, this is the <coughs> container you know youtube app so everything will come here let's first you know let ensure this is coming um on the page so this is there I am here pretty basic inside my app.js I'll have to load that so we will say YouTube dashboard and okay so this is done and now I think it's welcome.php uh, where oh let me first serve <coughs> the application so I'll hit serve here and one more which is nw which is my watch <coughs> okay so those are some of the shortcuts which I typically use okay I don't need forms and this style as well I think bootstrap 4 is now by default um, with laravel 5.6 so 
Mm. What I will do is dev row dev call md and I need to add the CSS and JS, right? So link, oops. And here. Okay, you can see whether they are getting generated or not. Yes, app.js, dot CSS, everything is in place. We are serving the application, so let's hit that on our browser. We are here. Obviously, there is nothing to show on that particular page. I will do something like okay. First of all, we are running that as an app, so I need to add this here for view to know <coughs> and YouTube dash. Let's now refresh. It's not working. Dashboard. Okay. It's done. Uh, we need to fix this problem as well. I think what happens is bootstrap.js in here it looks for a meta tag with CSRF token. So we need to provide it. This is useful when we are going to oops, use the you know a CSRF tokens on all post requests. So um, if you see basically what it is doing is this is the token and it adds that's X CSRF token in every Axios uh, request. So yeah, that is um, an important piece. Um, I just need the token. I don't need the field. Okay. And if I now refresh, everything is set. My view app is running. So let's quickly, um, what happened here? Okay, yes, it will complain about the JavaScript version. Uh, let it do that change. All right, that is done. Now I don't need the app.js anymore. Finder, let's first look at search. Okay, because this is going to be one piece where we will be, um, you know. Um, this I mean this module will be used for our searching purpose so let's quickly look at that um, we will need to first axios equals require okay we'll need to get that and then we'll need one base URL which in our case is HTTPS Why don't I show you actually Google, YouTube? It's, it should be somewhere. I think this is the one. Um, so, yes, this is the base URL. Well, let us copy that. Oops, where is it? Um, yeah, this is the one. Okay, this is my base URL and then i'll do module exports okay so that i can use that in other files okay call back so <clears throat> this is going to be a function i can you know uh, pass two parameters one is a set of options and the second one is a callback if there are no callbacks then it will just do a search and then nothing will happen okay and options is uh, is the key because if we look at the uh, api there are certain parameters okay for example part it should be snippet the set the default parameter i mean set the parameter value to snippet the part parameter specifies a comma separator list of one or more search resources so we are going to look for snippet and there are many other things 
um like uh, there was one which says uh q is basically the search which we are going to perform uh, safe search type yes we'll say that our type is going to be video so those kind of things you know let's look at them one by one so first things first i know that if i need to search using the youtube api um, i need the api key okay this is something which is mandatory uh, youtube knows who is going who is searching what so um so yeah options i'll keep it as options uh, here we have options so options dot api key if that is not present i'll throw new error and youtube search would require a key okay that's enough now let's have a params object So what are the different parameters as we uh, have already you know, discussed there will be part snippet okay these are the parameters so i'll need part which will be snippet then key okay which will be options dot uh, we are checking for api key okay that's done then q will be let's say options dot term and then we'll have max results uh, this can go up to i think 25 or 50 um let me see um max results max results okay i don't yeah um acceptable values are 0 to 50 the default value is 5 okay so we will keep it at 5 obviously but you know uh, rather you know why don't we do one thing we will say options dot items if it is present okay then we do options dot items or else we do 5 okay so <clears throat> it's not a mandatory parameter but if it is there it will be accepted and obviously the type should be video i am not expecting any other search and then we will do axios.get base url and my params will be params okay uh, this should work think so um and because this is a promise so i'll have a then i'll have my response in here and i will also have my catch error console dot error error okay um i think initially i will have an error because we haven't um, created the API key. So, where is my dash? Okay, I am here. Let's boot up our component and in the created method, I'll first import search from search. Okay, and search i should be able to okay i don't need the callback initially because i know it is going to fail um we'll have the api key um asdf right now and um ah, i think i'll do the term term right term as laravel repository okay so the build is done let's see what is going to happen okay 
so we already have a 400 error and i know this is primarily because we don't have an api key which we will create in our next video